Hello! Welcome back to the Spirit of Watercolor with Linda again. And uh, I'm just uh, doing this video right now because I wanted to respond to a comment um, from uh, one of you. And I, actually two of you, had mentioned that you'd like to see some of my work. I just framed up six pieces that are going in a, a watercolor show here in Ann Arbor and um, it's it's in my church so but I'm starting back you know because it's there's been a pandemic and also um, I've been a senior helper more than a painter for years I've been painting but not putting my work out as much so I'm working toward that so this is what I call steps in that direction so sometimes instead of trying to go all big and then you don't go anywhere let's get back into it so I, I got back into framing you'll see in my video in my little video of the paintings they're finished how I how I like to mat and frame things so they look professional and they look nice no matter what you're doing where you're showing make sure you do that okay make sure you you put them in the most um, attractive frames for the cost you can afford and I'll talk about that more and I have in some of my prior videos about matting and framing okay um, we can talk more about frames I have talked a lot about matting actually um, and uh, so watch this video and and let me know what you think and you'll kind of see my style uh, the way I paint which is very loose you know the way watercolor um, can be done it's not the way everybody likes to do it but it is wonderful right for its fluidity and flow and I'm that's my style and it's just a natural thing and I just go with it because if I try to be too controlled and too detailed it's just not it just doesn't work for me if your work is more detailed go with it enjoy what you do best and then enhance that and work on the areas where you feel like you need to improve I'm always working I got some new detailed brushes so that I can get more detailed um, something that I've always kind of felt uh, was out of my reach to some degree and now I'm saying you know what nothing is out of your reach anything that you want to practice and study and grow you can improve I think what comes to me natural I still want to use that but I am going to actually try to improve on my detail skills as well so I mean then you know once you can do as many of these different styles then you have much more um, less limit more more infinite ability abilities in your work so so, so here are some of my pieces that I've just framed up for a small show at my church with some other watercolor painters for May and June and I just thought that um, I would show them one by one to you okay let's look so um, as you know I'm a very my style is my style I do many different subjects okay but of course, this one here is just a landscape um, that I did wet on wet, and uh, then I framed it in a nice black frame. Uh, I like the frames to go with the, uh, the the painting to some degree, so the darks in that are kind of enhanced by the black frame, and then. Um, I use plexiglass and double mats as much as possible. Sometimes I use single mats. I like to sign the mats sometimes instead of the painting. And then um, this one here, oops, let's not turn that. This is my bird I did last year. And I used a sort of a pewter frame from American Frame. And I, uh, again, have some of that um, neutral gray, uh, neutral black in, in my painting that looks similar in color. So it kind of pops things out. And again, the double mats and signature. Okay. This one is a very old painting of mine that I did back, and it was in my mother's home. I've gotten it back because she passed away last year. So that's going in for a memory. And then I did this small piece here, which I'm going to probably call homage to Vincent because it is, to me, a Van Gogh-like piece. I used a rather snappy mat on that one, which I don't usually do. And the frame sort of is the same color as the um, painting um, in the painting, the burnt orange, quinacridone burnt orange, one of my favorite colors. This one here is just a really nice loose rose painting. Let me get this for you here. This one, um, again, very loose in my style, I'm trying to use those contrasting colors, double matte, and sign it again. Okay. 
And then this one is rather dated. My daughter was a little girl back then. And some of the people in my group are doing their family. So I'm using that one. And it's um, just a really wet and on wet of her back when she was a little girl, probably six or seven years old. So I thought I'd put that one in too because we're having quite a wide variety of things and I do like to do many different subject matters. So this was an answer to a question by one of the um, people uh, who commented on my YouTube channel of what do you like? So I just wanted to um, kind of show you some of the variety of things I like to do. Okay, there you go. This, video. this is my large board, right? My uh, for large paper. I think that's an 18 by 24 sheet on there. And I've taped it down because we're going to go into the watercolor bold and free. We're going to get real loose and do one of the um, from this book that I showed you in my prior video. So stay tuned, that's coming. I think this with the green screen, you start to see through my book cover. But, um, but this book is a wonderful 64 experimental uh, things, but you create beautiful paintings and you learn and grow. And what I love is, this is what I love about watercolor, that it can be bold and free. So this, this book has always been one that I keep on my library here. And I realized the other day when I was showing it that it's, I'm still taping it together. But um, to sit, you know, take care of the books, you know, I, I need to take better care of my books and sketchbooks and I'm working on that too. So thanks for watching and um, tell me what you think of my work and you know what you'd like to see me maybe demonstrate in future videos of those kinds of styles and subjects. And I can do a whole, uh, once I get some of my non-representational works, which are totally non-subjective, you know, more abstract or splashy, like this kind of subject, the Bold and Free, free book, um, I can show you those because I do those as well. And I really enjoy the free and loose stuff. And there's a few videos on those already. So look for those, the variegated wash and the alcohol and glycerin painting. Um, demonstrations show you some of those things that I like to do as well. Thank you so much for coming today and uh, please keep watching and uh, keep letting me know what you like to see and what you like to know. Um, I feel very blessed that I have um, had the wonderful uh, education I had over at Eastern Michigan um, University of Watercolor and Art, Fine Art, um, and I, lo I love sharing it. So no problem there. I hope you will, you know, Take what you like from these and, you know, use that and what you don't, that's great too. So, uh, I will see you in the next video. Get ready. Bold and free. <laughs>